Side on a developing story we have been following for you. We are learning more now about the final moments leading up to that deadly shooting on Eric Road in Wheatfield one week ago today. A 25 year old man shot his parents before getting into a gunfight with a sheriff's deputy and then killing himself. We get more now from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jill Perkins. 25 year old Dwayne Boers Jr. had the blood of his parents on his hands when Deputy Joe Tortorella arrived on scene. At one point, he asked Deputy Tortorella to shoot him in the head before the gun battle actually started. But the deputy did not. In fact, Tortorella only fired his weapon after the suspect drew one of the two guns he was carrying. A firefight ensued between the two men. The deputy was struck once, saved by his bulletproof vest. Boris Jr. struck twice in the abdomen and grazed on the shin. The entire episode caught on five security cameras the family had installed outside their home. Had he had, for example, surrendered and been taken to the hospital, he'd be alive today. Uh, the self-inflicted gunshot wound is the cause of death. And that video proof enough for the Niagara County District Attorney that Deputy Tortorella was justified in shooting the suspect. It revealed an awful lot, but most importantly it revealed exactly what Deputy Tortorella reported to our staff. Uh, following the incident. Investigators say Boers Jr. took his own life after retreating back inside the home. The incident unfolding just feet away from Eric Road Elementary School, which was placed on lockdown thanks to the quick thinking on the deputy's part. One tough cop, I'll tell you, he, uh, he could have retreated. He, he could have ran around the house. He could have done a lot of stuff. He stood his ground and he said, not today, not on my watch. An investigator said among those inside Eric Road Elementary School were the deputy's wife, a teacher, as well as his children. As for the victims in this case, Dwayne Sr. and Cynthia Boers, they remain in serious condition at ECMC, unable to speak to investigators, but expected, doctors say, to recover. Joe Perkins, 7 Eyewitness News.